What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Atika. You can call me Tia or Sunny, whichever one you like. And today, I'll be giving you guys my natural hair must-haves, essentials, favorites, things that every natural girl or boy, whoever, should have in their stash. Like... You need these things, okay? So if you wanna see what I feel like everybody needs, then definitely keep on watching. So the first thing is this Curl Keepers H2O water bottle. It is a continuous spray bottle. Girl, okay, I'ma just, I'm just demonstrate over here. Hold on, let me move my, my little blanket out the way. All right, now look. The continuous and it's a mist. It ain't like it's squirting at you. And let me tell you guys, I've had this for about, ooh, like maybe three years now. Every time I show it on my videos, somebody's like, oh my gosh, where'd you get your water bottle from? And I got it a couple years ago at Target. If I can still find this exact one, I'll link it. They do have some like dupes on Amazon and stuff, but I don't know how long those are gonna last. I just know about this one right here. And I know this joint is fire. So it comes in handy, especially when I do my flexi rod sets or if I'm just doing something where I need to keep my hair wet or like, not wet, but like damp. Girl, this is my best friend, okay? I love her so much. And I think it was like almost $20. Like it was, oh, girl, it was a good little 20, okay? She came in handy. She's still here. Ain't nothing broke. I ain't need to replace it. Nothing. It don't got, you know what I'm saying? It ain't coming all up. Like the packaging is still nice and fresh. Like this was good. I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if they still have it in stock, but when I tell you this was a good little investment, that $20 was spent well that day. So then my next thing is this brush. This is, I forgot what they call it, but it looks like this. So pretty much when you're detangling your hair, it spreads so that it doesn't pull out your actual healthy hair. It gets like the dead hair and stuff like that, but it doesn't pull out your healthy hair and it gets tangles out so good. What is her name? All of Destiny's sister. Dominique, all of them got freaking Dee Dee. Okay, so Dominique, her video, I said, oh yes, ma'am. Denman brush could never in a million years, baby. Replace your Denman brush with this. This is the ultimate detangling brush. And I swear by it now. Like I use this when I do my wash day, when I need to detangle my hair. Like, girl, this thing is just amazing. And I got it two for like $6 or $7 or something on Amazon, so. We love that. Oh, okay, so now, the next thing, she a little dirty, so just, just be kind with me in the comments, okay? I'm gonna give me a new one. I don't know when, but I'm gonna get me a new one. But it's my little edge brush. I ain't gonna show it for too long because it's a little dirty. But I love, clearly, clearly, y'all see me. Y'all see. You see me. You see me. Like, I love styling my edges up. It's just soothing for me, and I feel like it takes any puff, any bun, any, like, twist out, bantu knot out. It just takes it to that that next level, okay? It takes it from here to here. No, no, from here to here, like, surpasses it because I feel like you can really show like your creativity and like your personality through your edges. So personally, I love doing little, you know, swoopty whoopty whoopties with my edges. That's just me. So the next thing, oh my gosh, is my cheetah print bonnet. I got this from, I believe it's a black owned company. They're called Glow By Day on Instagram. First of all, do you see how big it is? This is a huge bonnet, okay? The biggest bonnet I've ever had. And then it has a little drawstring on the back so that you can tighten it so it doesn't like slip off at night. Um, So personally, I love 
this of course just like when i go to sleep with flexi rods in or like after i take the flexi rods out and i have like my little four little ponytails in but i really love this bonnet and it really comes in handy when I got a protective style. These braids are all the way down to my butt, so they're super long. This saves me at night, okay? If you've ever had long to the booty crack braids, girl, you know. It will be like pulling, like when you're trying to get comfortable, it's like kind of hard because you don't want to like pull in your hair. But just having a satin bonnet will preserve like your braids too because you're not rolling over it and getting it like frizzy and stuff so that's just why i sleep with a bonnet on every night so i'm not tugging my hair and i'm not you know making it frizzy and stuff i want to keep it nice and clean until i don't want these braids no more <laughs> so let's move into a couple of shampoo and like wash day things that i just enjoy so the first thing is this shampoo this one is from miel i really like this it's called the babasu conditioning shampoo it's for dry and curly hair types it's sulfate free and the main thing is it's color safe so you guys probably know that my hair is colored Boop. i got red hair so you know i need things that are not going to strip the color for my hair when I wash it. It's gonna run out, of course, but girl, I don't need that to be happening every time. Like, no, 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 no. I like the way it kind of like suds up. It feels really good and it does not strip my hair of its natural oils. My hair doesn't feel like squeaky clean because that's when your hair starts feeling crunchy. And then if you have colored hair, starts breaking off and you just start looking bald heady. I don't need none of that. The next one that I use that I actually like for protective styling because of the nozzle is, you can see it a little bit, but it's the TPH um, Master Cleanse. And this one specifically just targets the scalp. So I actually use this sometimes for my edges because it can get build up from me, you know, styling my edges up with my edge control. So I just use this like in the shower, put it up in a bun and you know just go right along my edges to get all that product built up out of there and it does a really good job a lot of people don't like the scent but girl i like the scent like i don't know if it's because i'm a grandma because somebody was like it's, it reminds me of my grandma and i'm like i like it like it smells very like aromatherapy to me i have eucalyptus leaves hanging from my shower so i personally love like that minty smell it just opens everything up it clears my mind so this is like it just feels like a spa to me i really like the nozzle because i can target where i need a target you know what i mean i could just go straight in boom 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 and then just go or just go like one of these boom boom, boom. And I'm good. Next up, next up, next up is some conditioners. I have three conditioners that I really like. Two of them being deep conditioners and then one is a leave-in conditioner. So the first deep conditioner that I love is this one from Mio. I love this mask. This one is Rosemary Mint. It's their strengthening hair mask. It's infused with biotin and it encourages growth. I don't really know if it encourages growth because my hair just naturally grows. But I just, I don't even want my hair to grow past a certain point because I like the shape that it takes when it's kind of shorter. So I don't really know too much about it encouraging growth. But I do know that my hair feels stronger and like the hair itself feels like, it just feels better. I noticed a difference in how my curls kept curling. Like it, it didn't get straight. I did straighten my hair last month. No heat damage, no nothing. Cause I was using this and this other deep conditioner I'm gonna show you guys. I definitely noticed a difference in my colored treated hair. This go around is way better with these products in it. I don't know what products I was using when I was uh, blonde, but I can't. <laughs> I can't, I ain't going back there. So then the other deep conditioner I was talking about is this one from TGIN. And I really love this one because it helps my hair retain moisture and just stay moisturized and soft and 
bouncy. I really like the uh, TGIN product for that specific reason is the moisture that it gives my hair. So then the next conditioner that I like is this leave-in conditioner. Well, love, I love this leave-in conditioner. This is from Miel too. Clearly, I like a lot of things from Miel. But this one I really like because again, it's moisturizing and my hair tends to get dry really quickly. So I love this specific leave-in conditioner to spray onto my hair after I deep condition it just to make sure girl, the oils and the moisture stays there, but not oily. Like I want it to be moisturized, but not oily. But I noticed that this does not weigh down my hair. When I do flexi rod sets, when I do bantu knots, this never weighs down my hair. And I probably do like maybe four pumps around my whole head and be good. All right, so then some styling products that I love. The first one, <laughs> y'all know. Y'all know, you should have known. You should have known I was gonna put this in there. If you have been around for a good little minute, I love this edge control. This is from EBIN, specifically the purple cap. The purple cap is the best. I like their uh, edge control because they smell good. And girl, edges be laid for the whole day. The whole day. This is my favorite edge control. Ever. And then it doesn't flake. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. When it, like, you put the edge control on and then it flakes automatically. You be like, what? This has no type of flaking. None of that. None of that. And then for twisting my hair. So I've been practicing like twist outs, but I do like this twist and shout cream from Curls. This is the Blueberry Bliss twist and shout cream. I like the smell of it, of course. I like products that smell good. So I like the smell of it, but I also like that it is moisturizing and it's not heavy on my hair. Like it doesn't weigh down my hair, but I noticed that I can't use a lot of it. Cause if I use too much, then it will be too heavy. So a little like dime size amount for my hair is good. But yeah, I'm gonna up my twist out, you know, game. But I use this for my Bantu knots and it looks good. But I really wanna do a twist out because my girl Erin at the Esperanza Maria, she does twist outs all the time and I be like, girl. She inspires me. I, I'ma learn one day. I'ma learn how to do a nice bomb twist out and just be out here. All right, so the next one I love to use when I was like doing like wash and goes and stuff and wear my hair more so curly. I don't do that anymore, but I might, you know, do it in the future. But this right here from Care, I think it's called Care Care. Yeah, Care Care. This is their moisturizing curling cream. It's super dirty. Like all my stuff is like dirty. I'm like, hey, I should have wiped it off before, but it's okay. Again, I love the smell of it. But curls pop severely. Do you hear me? Curls would pop severely with this curl cream. I like using this for wash and goes. I just haven't done a wash and go in a long time because I've really been eating up some flexi raw sets. But maybe one day we'll go back to it. But I really like this when I was doing wash and goes. So then this right here, I don't have a cap on it no more because I use it so much. But the Lotta Body Foaming Mousse, ma'am. I use these for my Flexi Rod sets and I use these for my protective styles to help them last longer, to like maintain the frizz and all of that jazz. I love Lotta Body stuff. If you have a protective style in, try this. <sighs> Just try it. I have like a whole little routine on my channel, I think. I think I went on Instagram recently but I think I have one on my channel too. But if I do have a video about how to maintain your protective style, I'll link it below in the description box. But if you use this, it'll definitely maintain like the look of your protective style longer. It's not gonna be as frizzy three weeks from now, two weeks from now. Girl, trust me. Yeah, this is going on a month and my hair still is looking good. Like the actual braids, are looking good. Okay, so then the next thing is this glosser from Pink, or, well, Lester's. Girl, this is 
amazing. I love this product so freaking much. For my protective styles, for one, just to add some shine to, you know, the braids or the twist or whatever it is. But also for my real hair. Like when I finish taking out my flexi rods and I add these, girl, the curls will be shining and just looking all luscious and good. Ooh, this is my baby. I've been using this for a good little minute. It's just a true product that just, you know, every natural girl should have. Okay, so then the last thing is just this oil. I do have another oil that I used to use a heavy, but I don't use it anymore. So I ain't gonna talk about it in this video. But the oil that I've been loving lately is this one from the L. Girl, I don't know why Miel has just been really giving it to me. They've been giving it to me lately. So this one is the Rosemary Mint Scalp Hair Strengthening Oil. And like I said, I love anything that gives me like minty spa vibes because it helps me to relax. I mainly use it when I have like protective styles in just to keep my scalp nourished and moisturized. And also when I was like trying to grow my hair back out because I cut it. I use this like heavy when I was doing protective styles and stuff. And girl, it me, it helped, it helped my hair grow. I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all be like, oh my gosh, you're, you can see the black. Yeah, you can see the black already because I've been, I was using this. I'm gonna give this some credit, but also it's my genetics a little bit too. It's this and my genetics. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, if you want to see a part two, maybe in the middle of the year to see like what my current fave natural hair products are, let me know. Natural hair or product empties, like stuff like that. I would love to start doing more things like that on my channel. So if you guys like this video, it'll just let me know that's what y'all like. You feel me? So, and don't forget to subscribe and be a part of the gang. Also, follow me on the gram at naturally.sunny because we get it popping over there. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. We be doing it over there. <laughs> it be real fun. If you follow me, you know. But yeah, that is it. I love you guys so freaking much. And hopefully, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Tell me how you feel